What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hi. And we're here with another Cupid's Corner for you guys, trying to help you guys ignite that relationship or bring that relationship to a whole new level. So at that point, we want to throw some tips, some tricks, and some of the things that you guys should be maybe instilling in your relationship or watch out for in your relationship. But the whole point of this is to benefit your relationship, right? You want to make things better. Obviously. Quality of life is a beautiful thing, and having that supportive partner by your side is also a beautiful thing, right? So let's go over some of the topics we're going to talk about today. The first one is apologize, and if you need to, compromise. This is really important. I think it's important with everybody out there. Apologies can mean something if you truly are behind that apology. Mm -hmm. Some people just can't apologize. It might be an ego thing, it might be the way they think, or they just don't want to say, I'm sorry. Or they might try to go around it, you know, try to get you flowers or chocolate or try to buy the apology. But you'd be really surprised how far I'm sorry goes. I'm sorry is always better than I apologize, yeah. by the way. It's a little bit, a little bit more personal. You know, I, this is something that you guys need to think about, right? If you've done something wrong, especially to your partner, right? You want to apologize. And that's not just buying them something. Mm -hmm. That's telling them, hey, listen, I love you. I'm sorry. And with that apology, showing the action of that apology, actually making the effort to change whatever you did wrong to that person. There's some things that people just can't get over. Mm -hmm. But at least if you apologize and you say I'm sorry and you believe in that apology and it's genuine, then that will go a long, long way. And it might just change the way that that partner thinks about you at that point. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm sorry if you've done something wrong. 100%. Okay? Maybe if it was an accident, you did something wrong, but you still apologize. And being genuine is the key here because there are people out there that might say, I'm sorry, uh, I apologize, and don't mean it. They roll their eyes when they say they apologize, right? Mm -hmm. Or they don't look you directly in the eyes. Another big thing is, is with that apology, like I said, action. So if you apologize or say, I'm sorry for something, but you keep doing that thing over and over and over, what does that apology really even mean? True. Couples go through this all the time. So it's really important, apologize. Now, if you said, I'm sorry, and you've apologized for something, and it's something that you really feel strongly about, talk to your partner and possibly compromise, right? That's you two coming together at a neutral area. Halfway point halfway point you know so at that point you guys are coming together this will make you guys stronger even if it was a bad situation and you apologize and you guys come together for the compromise it will make your relationship probably stronger it always does so that's another thing because this whole thing that we're talking about here and we go over with you guys week after week and thank you for tuning in week after week to Cupid's Corner and our show but is the compromise and that's really gaining that ground and making it something that's substantial to your relationship. Well, you gotta do the 50-50 split. So there might be something that you wanna do that your partner doesn't wanna do, but I'm sure there's a 50% halfway in the road that you can meet them where both parties are happy. You always wanna make sure that you take your partner's feelings into consideration and you think about it and you're not selfish because that's that right. never gets you anywhere. That's so right. it's important that you do compromise. Compromise is really almost everything outside of trust. Yeah. Compromise is, is a big one. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's truly where it's at, guys. So that's the first tip. Don't be afraid to apologize and say I'm sorry if you've done something wrong, all right? Your partner will appreciate it. You can look yourself in the mirror every day and say, listen, I gave it my best shot. I did apologize. I'm truly, genuinely sorry for what happened, and I'm going to make it right with my actions because actions always speak louder than words, Truth. all right? The next thing, the next tip for Cupid's Corner, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is a good one, is make goals together. You know, we always come up and we were born by ourselves, right? And we get raised, but making these goals together because we make solo goals, mm -hmm. whether I want to go to college, I want this job, I want to make this money, I want this car, the what, gym, whatever it is, I want 10 kids, you know? So everybody <laughs> has, they all, they all have their, their single goals, okay? <laughs> Male and females, we all have our goals. You know, what we want to accomplish in life, what we think we should accomplish and what we can do. But when you come together with a partner, you guys should have these goals and set these goals together, right? These are partnership goals. And these are different things like, hey, listen, 
when we get married or if we get married, we want to have two kids. We want to have a big house. We want to live in this state. We want to do these things together. Making these goals together will help you guys bond. And the reason is because you guys will be on the same mission to accomplish this goal together. You guys will work as a team. You guys will be on the same brain waves and want to accomplish those goals together. And you guys will get a feeling of satisfaction when you guys do accomplish those goals together, right? Definitely. I mean, me and Sharice have been through it. When we got together, we set our goals exactly what we want to do. We did it together. We wanted these things. This was important to both of us, not just one of us, because that's a single goal, right? And your partner will support you on those single goals. But having the teamwork and the partnership goals are key. These partnership goals will keep you aligned and will keep you growing together instead of growing, growing apart. apart. Yep. Because usually somebody's like, listen, I want to have this this uh, part in my career. I want to go to this level. right? And their partner supports them. But they kind of grow apart because you know the partner might not be on the same brain wave. They don't want to become a doctor or they don't want to you know, become the head of an advertising agency or whatever the goal is, right? Or a professional bodybuilder or whatever, professional athlete or whatever it may be. But they're still supportive. Now, these goals together, the partnership goals, like I said, these are things that you obtain together and you guys both get satisfaction out of and both get pleasure out of, one way or another. Okay? I mean, even if you're together for a long time, goals obviously can change as well. But that's where you and your partner come together and you make sure you guys are still on the same page and you're still on the same road, in the same car, talking about the same thing to make sure everybody's on the same page with what those goals are. Because things change over time too. Absolutely. You know, I can definitely say that the goals that we wanted 10 years ago may not be the same goals that we want today right you know things change over time so you know make sure that you guys have that open communication and you guys talk with your partner about what your goals are what his or her goals are and then what the final goals are and right. then that way you guys stay on the same page coming together and creating those partnership goals i like that yeah that's what i'm gonna i'm gonna like i think i'm gonna you know take some uh some notes on the partnership goals. I think that's, you know, my word of the day, partnership goals. I'm going <laughs> like to trademark that, goals. right? The partnership goals. That's what it <laughs> the is. Titan partnership goals. Titan goal. partnership goals, right? And that's what me and Sharice created. And it's been through everything, through our family, through our home, our business. So we've actually, we, we, we've instilled this in ourselves. And we actually, you know, we set the example for that, for ourselves. And that's a great thing, setting the example, um, following that example. So that's a big one, right? Partnership goals, make them together, accomplish them together, feel the love together on that, right? You gotta do it together. You gotta do it together, all right? So that's the second tip. Third tip, all right? And this kind of is one of my good ones. Behind every good king is a supportive and loving queen in most circumstances. <laughs> Not all relationships are like that. Some relationships can be toxic. But in most circumstances, as me as a male or even a female, behind every good queen or awesome queen, is an awesome king and that's protective of her his queen wanting the best for his queen and the exact same thing it's reciprocating each mm -hmm. other okay and it's being supportive of each other you know they always say that you know queens can either start wars or end wars all right and this is true in a lot of different things in history so make sure that you have the right partner or the right queen or king behind you and you guys will do amazing things together right because that's the really big thing is having that supportive person behind you and we've talked about that in a couple of different shows before is being there for each other because that's the main thing and that goes right along with the partnership goals and uh, you know obtaining these goals together and stuff like that so make sure that if you're a king that you have the queen behind you that's going to do the right thing be supportive of you and want to love you for who you are that's a really main thing and if it's a queen make sure that king is taking care of you in all those ways he's treating you like a queen he's doing the right things for you right being supportive and being there for you as the queen because i mean in this day and age you know people play different you know roles i it's guess in the true. relationship right it's you true. know some women are out there working where men are staying home and vice versa where before like in the old days old school and that's how i was raised was mm -hmm. you know the, the king's out there and he's doing everything as far as you know he's hunting for the, the wife or the family he's working to pay the bills or whatever and the, the wife's at home taking care of the castle okay the castle and then the kids and growing up the princes or princesses out there so that's the main main thing so these roles have changed a little bit of who's out there and who's really dominating but you guys are dominating together and don't forget that and don't let anybody come between you and your relationship with your king or queen and that's the big part of it 
because people will try to inter intertwine themselves or get in between you guys. Oh, like yeah. we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. Make sure that nobody separates the king or queen because those are the highest in any game too. So you know you got your king and queen in chess. You got king and queen in cards, right? These are essential. These are main characters. So make yourself a king and a queen, and make sure that you guys are supporting and loving each other the exact same way, right? You have to make sure, okay, that you can definitely count on each other. So in my scenario, I know that in any situation that I can count on John, no matter what, I could be somewhere where I need him to come get me like that. I could be somewhere where I need him to do a meeting for me and we we're supposed to do it together. That happened today. Um, you know, it could be any situation. I always know no matter what or what the circumstances are or what's going on that I can count on him. And you want your partner to know that they can count on you. So you have to make sure that you show it through actions. You can talk about it all day, but you have to show it through actions. And sometimes that takes time. It takes time to build that rapport. Right. So it's important that they know that. Relationships are about building. They're like a, like a plant. When you plant the seed, you'll grow, grow, grow. And what you feed that, that plant or that seed will make you grow stronger. So make sure that that is all good vibes and good things coming to that love and nurturing of that plant. Or Water your plants out there. Nurturing. That's the big thing. Like nurturing those plants out there and nurturing your <laughs> relationship, right? Making it better. You know, that's that's another thing I guess we'll throw in there for the fourth one. But, you know, people, they, they, they come in hot and heavy, I like to say. So, you know, you have that honeymoon period where people are like in love. They're like, you know, they don't want to be separated. They can't get enough of that person. And then they finally get married or they come in a relationship or they get past the honeymoon period. And then it just d dies off. So we'll get into more on that in the next Cupid's Corner. That'd be actually a really good one because I can't stand one. maybe five to seven minutes without John. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll talk about that next Sunday at 11 a.m. on our show. But we wanted to bring these points up to you. So what have we learned today? First thing is it's not bad to apologize or say I'm sorry if you've done something wrong. Okay, especially in your partner. It will mean a lot. The second thing is is that you guys want to create partnership goals that you guys are going to obtain together. Right? It's a team effort. You guys are working towards the same goal and accomplishing that mission together. The third one is, is behind every good king, there is a beautiful and supportive loving queen in most circumstances <laughs> and vice versa to a queen to a king. All right? So make sure you got the right partner or the right king or queen by your side because you, know, you don't want that traitor behind you and stabbing you in the back like Julius Caesar had in his royal family. So at that point, you guys got to watch out. Okay? John, the history buff. Yeah, I love history. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful thing. So we appreciate you guys tuning in to our Cupid's Corner segment every Sunday here at 11 a.m. on ABC. Thank you so much. It's been awesome. We've got great feedback from the audience on this segment, especially on the show. So it means a lot to me and Sharice. Thank the you, The support, guys. the love, the feedback. Please keep it coming. And if there's anything that you guys want us to cover in may, maybe in one of these Cupid's Corners, or you guys have questions on some of the things, or you guys think that we might have a tip for your relationship, please contact us, DM us. We love to hear that feedback from you guys in our audience. Happy to help. Yeah. So this has been an awesome Cupid's Corner. Tune in next Sunday, 11 a.m., for more tips and tricks on how to build your relationship into a stronger one on Cupid's Corner. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you next Sunday. See ya.